Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know I have been a little MIA for a while. The reason why I haven't been on here um, in the past probably month, I think. I think probably a month, I'm not sure. But because um, we have recently moved. So we moved and I've been trying to uh, figure out what place is best for my videos but um, I found a very comfortable spot but not very good lighting here so I might have to make a few adjustments here in there I mean I'm so grateful for everything that God has given us um, this is a very big step forward into better living from a one-bedroom apartment um, to a two-bedroom two-bath condo so I am so grateful um, and very happy with this place. It's more spacious for us, for Mima has been in three kids. Um, so we've been in our old place for like, say almost six years already. Um, that's the only place my two younger, um, kids knew, ever lived, and they grew up there. But it was time to step, step out of the box and stretch our legs so what I wanted to do is I hope my shirt is not dirty because my shirt I go back and look at videos and my shirt is always dirty and sorry about that <laughs> I got I don't know I got three kids I always got crumbs on me for some reason so today I actually wanted to do something different I wanted to start off with my eyes first and then face me face makeup so um, I think I'm gonna do that I already primed my face and you know what one thing I actually I'm just gonna cut this out of the video I'm just gonna do my eyebrows real quick and then I will come back and do the eye makeup and then we'll get the show on the road okay so I know I may look a little crazy <laughs> because I feel like I look very weird with just eyebrows, nothing else. So let's put some concealer. We're gonna use the old, the good old LA Girl Pro Prep Conceal as always. I think I'm gonna use this concealer or foundation brush, whatever. Um, I haven't used this one in a long time. I use it for my eyes. And then if I need to go ahead and blend it out with a beauty blender, I will. I like to just pat it in. That's all I like to do. I think it, this is the best way, especially if you're doing like cream with um, a brush. I think patting it like this, it eliminates streaky lines, you know what I mean? From, that the brush gives off, tends to give off sometimes. Just let it dry up a little bit and then I am going to set it with some powder. Just go with the beauty blender, give it a few taps, make sure there's no lines. Tapping that powder in. And then sort of just mixing that. The only thing I'm gonna do today is just go to my son's school to check out his new schedule for the new grade. He is going on the fourth grade. Is that crazy? Oh my god. Well, that's crazy to me. <laughs> What other palettes do I have? I don't really have other palettes or other colors. I'm gonna do like a bronze color. We're gonna do a bronze color. So we're gonna grab our blending brush, fluffy br blending brush. And I wanna actually use my bronzer from MAC into the transition line. So last night I was watching um, 
the beautiful and very talented Desi Perkins. If you guys have ever um, heard of her or whatever, um, she is actually very talented. And I've heard of her before. Too much, I never paid too much attention to her. And so yesterday I was just looking at some videos of um, that she has done. And I've gotten some tips, some very useful tips from her. But um, I don't remember if I got this from her. <laughs> I think, maybe. Yeah, so I'm going to use the bronzer, a little bit of bronzer, to for the transition shade. Of course, I like to dab it. Build, build up, you know what I mean? Up on the brow bone. We want it up on the brow bone like that. I think I should do a bronze cut crease. We'll figure that out when we get there. These techniques that I learned, um, what I'm gonna just be applying now from now on is uh, from my Sephora class. And no, I didn't document it. I'm not a very shy person. So I don't like to attract too much attention. I don't like when people stare at me. Um, people who don't know me. I'm very uh, defensive too, so. Um, but by all means, I mean, if, if you watch my videos and if you ever see me in public, um, come and say hi, you know, don't be shy. I would love to meet anybody who, who sees my videos because my, sorry guys, not so loud. I would love to meet different people who you know who recognize me I grew up in a place where where I just had like I wasn't always liked you know I've always had haters here and there um, so anytime somebody has ever just looked at me it's always somebody who just doesn't know me and keeps staring and stuff and I get very defensive but if you recognize me come and say hi I am very friendly and um I would love to meet you guys. I'm shy, of course, but I do like meeting new people. Now that is said. So um, I got my transition shade there. What I am going to do, I'm going to go in with a darker shade. So I'm going to use this one. I am going to take the very dark brown that is called Back Door right here. Um, I'm not sure if I should be using this color but we're just gonna take it oh it's so dark okay tap it off really good put it directly in the crease oh it's not that bad so i'm gonna grab a shorter blending brush it sort of looks chalky well the color i mean not the texture um I'm talking about the color. Well, it sort of looks like a charcoal gray, not even like a brown. It looks dark brown on the palette, on the pan. This side, it's kind of hard to blend out actually. <sighs> I'm gonna go in with a different color a different brown more that one looks gray you see what I mean totally deceiving you can go in with whatever brown you want I'm gonna use the, the ultimate basics palette so I'm gonna work it in the crease right there blend out just mesh those two colors together I'm going to add like a the burnt orange color from the Ultimate Basics, the extra, extra bitter. So I'm going to work that into the crease again, just to make it a little bit more brown. Smoky. So 
So I am going to back, go back with the um, fluffy herb brush and then just go back with that original color that I had. Which one is it? Oh, with the original um, bronze color that I put on first and just go over again. Um, just this way like that. Just in case I or went over the bronze color just softly sweep it like that okay so i'm gonna grab from i'm gonna grab this sangria color it's called sangria it's more like um a reddish brown sort of and i'm gonna add it to the corner right here and grab our packing brush if you could see that right there but I could see it a little bit so just patting the, that color in next I am going to put some concealer on and use the wet n wild one and let's hope for the best One person who could do a very good cut crease, who I've been paying a lot of attention to lately, was Raw Beauty Christy. She is amazing. And she's like hella funny. I love a good funny YouTuber, especially when you could just tell they have such a great personality you know i'm gonna grab a concealer brush and just fix up that line so i've been getting tips on how to do a better cut crease by robbie to christy she she does her cut creases like she's just the pro she is she's just a pro at it next i am going to grab uh let's see this shimmery bronze color right here and i'm gonna use a wet brush i'm almost out of this so sad i wanted a dark look with this so If you want to use a different color, be my guest, guys. I'm just, I don't know, I'm experimenting with this. Thinking of adding another color. I'm going to go in with this color right here, the sparkly one. I'm just, I'm just going to lighten this up a little bit. Okay, so then I am going to add some eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara. Alright guys, so I am done with the eyes. I am going to apply my face makeup and then I will be back. Okay. Okay, voila! I am back with the full beat face. And um, so now we're going to do lips and then we're pretty much done. Oh. No, I forgot to add blush, so I'll do that afterwards. Um, don't forget about the blush. Don't forget about the blush. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. First, I am going to take a lip liner. This one is Wet n Wild. This is pretty old. The name is completely off, so it's some type of bronzer color. Just going to go ahead and outline the lips. Hope I don't take the focus off of you guys I 
I'm gonna shade in the the inner corners, the outer corners of my lip. Then I'm gonna add some Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in the color Champagne. It's more like a nude or clear. So for some moisture. And then I think I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the melted, uh, the Too Faced Melted Matte, just maybe a little bit. Since I have that shine already, let's just try it out, huh? Maybe just dab it in just a little bit. Okay, so then I'm gonna add a little bit of blush and some highlight right here and then we're all done. Okay, so let me set the set my face and then we are finished. I do like water. I'm just gonna go back with the beauty blender. Quiet and just dab it in. Carefully. Okay, so there it goes. And I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys have a good day. So um yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it won't take too long to make another video. So if you guys have any more suggestions or ideas comments whatever um go ahead and leave them down below so i can read them and um give me some new ideas <laughs> some new ideas so all right so have a good day everybody and i'll see you in the next video